Step 6 focuses on choosing an appropriate approach to implement data linear. The approach should take into consideration several factors. The first one is the enterprise covered. The company has a choice. It can start an extensive campaign to document data lineage in full scope. It can also bring the initiative to some reasonable and feasible limit. The company's resources are the key to the answer. All that I presented before focused on limiting the scope to a feasible minimum. But the company itself should identify its ambition level. The second factor is the method of data lineage documentation. I mentioned before that there are two key methods, descriptive and automated. These two methods can be combined. The method depends on the layers of documentation. The descriptive method is applicable to data lineage at the business, conceptual, and logical level. The automated method is highly recommended for the physical level. I know that some companies put effort into documenting physical data lineage manually in Excel. This is something that I would never recommend doing. The third factor is the scoping parameters. We have already discussed some of them. The length and the depth of data lineage are examples. The fourth factor is the direction of documentation. This factor plays a role when a company decides to document the data lineage at various layers. Three approaches exist. The first one is top-down. In this case, a company would start from the business level, for example, by documenting business processes, application flows, and data sets flows. The bottom-up approach assumes that the physical data lineage will be documented first. The hybrid approach assumes that the company performs data lineage documentation at various levels simultaneously. Even if the top down approach is more logical, in practice, companies usually start from the physical level. The project management style is the fifth factor. From the program or project management perspective, a company can use centralized, decentralized, and hybrid approaches. I discuss the advantages of the disadvantages of these approaches in depth in my book. The maturity of metadata architecture is the last factor that I consider. All that we've talked about is metadata management. It is generally accepted to think that metadata architecture focuses on gathering metadata at the physical level. In reality, the challenge is much broader. Data lineage at Every level of abstraction is metadata. A data model is metadata. The description of business processes is metadata. Database schemes are metadata. A company should have in place various metadata repositories to document different metadata types. 